Hey, what is up everybody? This is Stephen Breach coming to you here today. Uh, we're looking over the stocks today. Easily um, one of the worst days um, that I've ever had in the whole time that we've ever been doing this. Um, I'm down $677. I really thought that after yesterday's slight rebound um, and finishing the day in the green, that today was just gonna be one of those takeoff green days that we had like back in April, uh, where just everything just started going up. Every once in a while you'd have a down day, uh, but it was just gains, gains, gains. Um, as of right now, I mean, I basically have spent the last week um, just buying things on the dip, and today's one of those days that honestly, um, if you're watching this video and you don't have any any money out there in the market, um, don't don't look at the discouraging numbers on the day. Yes, a lot of things are down. Most things that I own are down on the average of like eight, nine, even ten percent. Uh, these are numbers that you want to buy on. Days that are red, you want to buy, and you don't want to be that guy jumping on the bus. Um, as it's pulling out of the station when something's already up 10%. You might catch a little bit of the drift at the very end, but you wanna be able to ride something from the bottom to the top. Um, so, I mean, these are the days, a lot of the stuff that I have is just very basic things um, inside of the portfolio. I mean, just think of things that you use, things that you buy, places that you like to go, airlines that you like to use, um, you know, things that you're gonna put your money into. If you're gonna put your money into those things, other people are going to and that's how you know basically retail things go up stocks go up and <laughs> we'll all recover out of this in the long run um, basically all the money that I put into this is a lot of the extra money that I've made uh, due to the coronavirus the grocery business is just blown up basically been able to work just about as much as we want to uh, and for me to be able to put seven thousand dollars since March into this account <laughs> what else was I going to do with it? <laughs> Basically, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, today, a very weird day. Uh, let me let me say, ha, tell you how weird today is. Out of everything that I own inside of my stuff, the only two positive things that show in my portfolio is the Hertz stock that I don't even own anymore. That blew up at one point. I think that was up 60%. It finished today up 36. It's only a jump of 45 cents. Uh, but for a stock that's only, you know, at the dollar range that people are saying are going to zero, I mean, if you were still holding, today was the day to do that dump. I really think that Hertz has seen its day. There's stories out there of uh, CarMax uh, basically buying Hertz only to be able to sell the cars that they own. Um, we'll have to see what comes out of that, but um, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, what a dog stock. And then also uh, uh, Lycan Coffee, LK. Um, that one was up 12.5%, ended up today up 35 cents. Uh, for that one to show some life, I bought that one extremely, extremely low um, after the, the things came out, after the CAO um, said they lied about the, the, the numbers. At one point, this was a $20 a share stock, and we were buying it at the, at the, like the $2 range. Um, so we're hoping that, that you know once China opens up, this will actually be the new coffee place to take over China and Luke and Coffee can start going to just get a little bit of momentum and we can get this up. I'll bail out on this sucker, but um, um, it, it, I mean, there's still stores out there. They still make this coffee. Uh, they still sell this coffee. So in my mind, it has to go up. Um, but those were the only two positive stocks of the day. IDEX ended up coming back, uh, finishing up 3%, it looks like, up 10 cents. Um, but other than that, I mean, every fucking single thing. Um, Norwegian Cruise Line down 12.5%. Dave & Buster's down 12%. Carnival Cruise Line down 11%. Red Robin down 10%, basically wiping out everything that they went up yesterday. Um, Spirit Airlines down 10%. JetBlue down 9.5%. Penn. Penn is like the rock. That's one of the best stocks in the business. The Jimmy, that thing was just going up like it was going out of business yesterday. Um, but uh, Penn uh, down 9.36%. Um, everything in the middle, it is what it is. Man, damn, today it, it, it was just a shitty day. And uh, maybe they have another one I'm telling you if you see down numbers tomorrow and you don't get in on this. You're fucking crazy. You don't have to buy the smallest stocks. You don't have to be trying to pick penny stocks to get out of there. Just buy traditional things that people use. I mean, the first really stocks that I got involved in was like Cheesecake Factory, um, 
I'm trying to think what I was pushing. I bought, I bought a lot of JetBlue right off the bat. Um, uh, you know, uh, another airline, Southwest, that everybody uses is, is a good affordable stock as well. What I'm looking at right now, Southwest is 32 bucks. Uh, you get 100 bucks. I, yeah, I guess you can. You can buy three shares of Southwest for 100 bucks. Make some money off of that. Just get started with something. I'm telling you, right now is the time. Down day, down $677, down 7.88%. But I mean, once this shit starts bouncing, I mean, there's no doubt in my mind. JetBlue, Dave & Buster's, uh, Penn, Cheesecake Factory, Spirit, Southwest, Carnival, Red Robin. Those things are going to balloon. I mean, the things that I know that are just basic retail items. Once this gets back to normal, do the roof, baby.